Hey Phil, absolutely fantastic question, and there is one person who comes to mind for my most influential disappointment. Um, I come from a town in Tennessee that's kind of culturally advanced and it's scientific, it's a very smart place. Really impressive people there and a 90% college bound rate. Well, when I was a sophomore in high school, the seniors there were just like the greatest things to me. Um, amazing actors, brilliant people, really, really just amazing in every way. Matter of fact, I never followed celebrities' lives because the people in my town I always looked up to so much. Well, one of those people's name was Jeff Jones, and he was very talented, uh, award-winning in theater, uh, very charismatic, just really had everything going for him. Well, um, I was able to perform with them my sophomore year of high school, and then my junior year, they all left, and then my senior year, you started hearing about the things that they were doing in New York, and in my town, there's an unspoken rule that if you do well in the things that you do in town, that you are supposed to leave, and you're supposed to share your, your talents and your abilities with the rest of the country and the rest of the world. It's always been an unspoken rule. And most people did that. And the people I idolized so much in high school, you know, they were in New York, they were in Los Angeles, they were doing these amazing things, you'd hear about their adventures, and they really became legendary. Um, well, Jeff Jones was there both my junior year and my senior year, just kind of visiting and hanging around the high school. And he'd come to rehearsals, um, sometimes he'd come along when, you know, the group of us went to movies, and he'd make critiques of the movies, but it was kind of like making critiques he wouldn't know about because he'd never gone and really done it. Like he would say, I remember at a movie he said, yeah, I can hardly see a movie for, for pleasure anymore because I can just see the directorial flaws and the way that they're doing it. And I'm thinking, well, you know what? You've never been out of this small town. How do you know? And so I decided right then that when I graduated from college that I was going to leave as soon as I could and just make myself into that legend that I inspired that inspired me so much in the seniors from when I, I was entering high school and now I've been in New York for 10 years um, I do professional photography um, I produce theater here um, uh, direct playwright um, I'm in a great band have a great time three pints shy look them up and um, yeah, I'm very happy. You know, I'm not a mega star. Uh, I'm not wealthy, but you know, I'm doing what I love in a place that really fits me really well. And I really owe a lot of that to Jeff Jones. Um, I was looking at his, I was looking him up, and it looks like he went back to college. And I hope that he's doing very, very well because I always admired him so much. So that was my biggest inspiring disappointment in my life.